Follow them on Twitter, YouTube, Hotomatic, and iTunes. This is brought to you by the Ukraine and Tweet Dog. Now it's time for the Guys Night Podcast! <laughs> So many movies, not enough right, time. Right. Action, <laughs> horror, thriller, comedy, foreign documentaries. <laughs> Welcome to Guys Night. Guys Night. All right, so just got out of Dunkirk. Another installment by Christopher Nolan. Uh, the story itself involves the 1940 piece with World War II going on, and I've got to be honest with you guys, uh, this was a great looking movie. I like the feel of it. I like the war feel, um, but the story is really lacking with this one. Uh, personally, me, like I understand like the concept of war. You're not going to get the introduction of characters. You're not going to get the main flow. This is so and so but it's an overall beautiful looking movie. I just feel like it's lacking in the character department. Characters aren't really in any peril. I feel like the strongest points are the sound. Whenever an aircraft goes by or a gunshot is seen throughout the movie, you feel, you get that atmosphere of war itself. And that's like the biggest standpoint for like where Dunkirk really feels like a cinematic piece of art. And on top of that, the look of it is very gritty, the very 35 millimeter look of war and film. That's where I think the standpoint of this being considered a masterpiece really lies. Uh, best standout performance is definitely the Sunday ship with the older gentleman and his son. Uh, they were definitely the standout roles. Tom Hardy with the aircraft carrier, that was another like captivating story. But I do feel like, again, it's not a good flow when it comes to the story. It's more of situations with characters that happen so overall i'm gonna to have to give dunkirk a 2.5 out of four stars christopher nolan's war drama i would have to say hands down it was a decent movie kind of slow but decent form for him um he tends to go with the same actors over and over again with like uh tom hardy you did hear michael Caine in the background never saw him but you heard him in the part also i have to say that um it's it's it is what it is it's a war movie it's not the best war movie it's exactly what it is it's just another tale inside the world war ii era so um i would have to say hands down um it's not his best movie but it is one of his decent movies i would give the movie a three and a half out of four and um wish him luck Originally when I saw the trailers for this movie, I wasn't that excited, even though Christopher Nolan is my favorite director. The Dark Knight trilogy loved Interstellar, Memento, he has, he's never really made a bad movie. And this was a completely different kind of movie for him, a war type movie. And like you said, he does use Tom Hardy, Cillian Murphy. Um, I thought it was good. I wasn't like blown away. The reviews are coming in making it seem like you're gonna be like blown away. And it's pretty short for a Nolan movie. It's an hour and 40 minutes. Um, I would say the highlights of the movies are all the plane battles, all the aerial shots. We should have seen this at IMAX, like I was saying. Because exactly. those scenes alone would have been worth it, the $20 or whatever it was. Um, my only gripes were um, the, they had very, not really like thick accents, but they were very like muffled. And like it was kind of hard to understand everything they were saying. So that kind of docked a few points off for me. Um, and it was a lot of suffering, maybe almost too much, but it kind of, at the end, you were happy to see them kind of end on a good note, not like a suffering note. Um, I guess I give it a 3 out of 4. Maybe if I see it again, I'll bump it up to 3.5, but I want to go 3 out of 4. It might be a 4 out of 4 if it was that we saw it at 9. Yeah. <laughs>